over the last year, definitely we've heard about some interesting things that could be potentially coming to the game that include things like a data knife, an explosive loot tick or explosive tick and a bunch of other ideas like that. And I'm here to say that a lot of these things may have already actually come to the game and people are just completely overlooking it and know it already. But we already passed 47,000 subscribers. So if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Because it does actually pay to get alerted on this channel. As I love to do giveaways in the community tab where first come, first serve. And the only way that you're going to even know that I posted is if you're getting a notification. Now, today we're going to focus on some leaks that may you know still be coming sure but right now they're technically in the game and you can get them if you're lucky enough but they're not maybe what you would assume they would be but we're doing an octane edition giveaway and if you want to win that take the next five seconds to like this video then drop hashtag floop along with your xbox playstation or origin username in a comment below and you could be the lucky person to win the Octane Edition, you know, for your favorite platform. But, you know, let's let's get into this uh, weird kind of like set of leaks we've heard about. So we've heard about a data knife for sure in the past. And there's definitely been talks about frag spiders and like explosive ticks, different things like this. We've heard about these type of things over and over and over again. But have they come to the game? Well, yes. Yes and no. Because we most assuredly have the data knife right here in the game. And as you can see, it's a weapon charm. And that's going to be a heavy theme of what we see going on over the next couple minutes in this video is that a lot of these 3d models the yes these are the actual 3d models of the items have been used in the game already and for instance like the hunter's knife is just a bowie knife that a lot of people have been convinced is going to be an heirloom because it's already in the game files now that doesn't mean that it couldn't necessarily become an heirloom and that it isn't ever going to be an heirloom but what it does mean is that right now it's currently in the game as a weapon charm only. And that isn't, you know, I mean, it's it's not clickbait enough to say a new weapon charm's coming. It's got to be a new heirloom, something like that, to get people really clicking, right? But I'm here to tell you that the data mining is just completely people making up stuff because they found some type of clue they think. You know what I mean? It's very, very much akin to what you would like think of somebody seeing uh, something in the sky and right away assuming that it is a UFO or an alien coming, you know, instead of just going, oh, it's like, you know, a satellite dish in low earth orbit or something like that, you know, or sorry, satellite, not satellite dish. So it, there is a lot of hysteria that comes along with some of the data mining that we 100% know is a little bit ridiculous because you can't just keep piling stuff on the map and then have a viable amount of loot for people to pick up without adding so many subsystems that are already kind of, you know, going to complicate a server that's having issues already that isn't necessarily connectivity issues, but actual server performance issues. And that's something we really would probably rather have solved before getting a data knife to hack people's, traps and other abilities now i can't stress enough how this doesn't mean that things aren't coming to the game or that they definitely are coming to the game but we do have some things that we can say definitely are in the game because we have items like the arc star that are weapon charms that we definitely do have an arc star in the game and we definitely do use it all the time so to me it wouldn't be all that wild to see some of these items still come in as, you know, on map items for us to use. One of the most 
obvious to me at least is in fact the explosive tick i think that that is probably one of the most likely items that we'll see at some point in the future as an actual pickup because it makes sense now it doesn't have to be some perfect homing grenade you know if it's just a little stupid and it clutters towards whatever it was thrown at that's going to be you know a great option for a lot of people in a lot of different scenarios as well as if it was, you know, maybe altered to be something you could plant to be more like a mine or, you know, some other situation. There is a lot of different ideas that could be used with an item like that. So for me, I think that we've see, definitely seen the 3D models used. How they were used is more the question. Were they going to be used, you know, as a weapon charm? Have they been repurposed? in a sense uh, kind of how we see that volt look uh, coming with the r99 skin where you know just referencing an item might be necessary inside the 3d models and those type of things but from what i see there's a lot of uh misdirection going on now especially with the amount of data that was leaked or data mined in general over the course of the year I think they've definitely changed the actual playbook up a little bit. Obviously, they have been keeping to the actual roadmap in terms of we are we are getting new items, new legends, you know, that type of thing every season. But we may not be getting exactly what we thought we were getting or in the way we thought we were getting it. So to me, it's a very interesting prospect to say the very least. But uh, the question is remains what do you guys think about this is this what you guys thought it was going to be did you think that the leaked items would were always going to be items that we got in game to be played with or do you know for a fact like like i do that some of these items are just going to be weapon charms and other you know things that link titanfall and the story of titanfall to apex legends in some manner even if it isn't an insane, you know, direct story connection, it still is a pretty intense story to connection to say the least. So I think it's pretty awesome, you know, that they are tying stuff in. But I do think obviously things like the data knife don't make nearly as much sense to pick up off the ground. Uh, maybe if it was a character's ability, it would make a lot more sense. But an explosive tick could also go either way there and it makes a lot more sense is it whereas the you know the data knife doesn't make any sense as a pickup it does make sense to be maybe as like a crypto type of heirloom or something like that but in its current state what it is doesn't make sense to be a pickup whereas an explosive tick could be a a legend ability or it could also be, you know, a pickup that you find on the ground because finding one, two, three grenades and then finally having something that isn't just gray for grenades. You know, think about it. All the grenades are gray. You don't pick up a thermite and it's a blue. You don't pick up an arc star and it's a blue. It's a gray item. So a blue or purple grenade would be an interesting, you know, addition to the game. There is things to work with in that regard, whereas the data knife is not nearly as clear cut to be how it could be added to the game, at least in my mind. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. And if you've made it this far into the video, you've made it 8 minutes 53 seconds. And what you're going to want to do is take a look right here if you play on PlayStation in North America. Because you've got hooked up with the chance to redeem that Apex coin code right there. And obviously, guys, we are doing the Octane Edition giveaway. So if you're interested in winning the Octane Edition of Apex Legends, you're an Oc main or a Clocktane main, then, you know, go ahead and drop hashtag floop with your Xbox, PlayStation, or Origin username in with a comment. And let me know what you thought about this video in general and what do you think about the items? Do you think that they're going to be only weapon charms or do you think a lot of these items will also come to the game as playable features it's all really you know up for debate but i want to know what you guys think so make sure you drop that comment down there and let me know so that you know we can see what the community has to say about all this crazy nonsense 
that has been leaked over the last year in Apex Legends. But, you know, we're going to clock it in with a second dub on this video. But thanks for watching, guys. Here's two videos you can check out if you feel so inclined. But uh, 47,000 subscribers, guys. Can you believe it? We are almost to 50K. You guys are legends.